And today we're going to continue our spiritual principles. And this is lecture about, again, Jama and Niyama, 10 principles. So today we're going to go over the next two Niyamas. And the first one is called Santosha. But do you remember the first six principles, which was Ahimsa, um, Satya, Asteya, Aparigraha, Brahmacharya, Shaucha? And if you have any questions about those principles that we went over, please let me know. Otherwise, we're going to begin with new principle today, which is called Santosha. So what is santosha? Santosha means that every day we have a choice to be happy or to be unhappy. You can have a choice right now to be happy. Even if you're going through a breakup, even if you lost a job, even if you have a mean girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, or you have no income and you don't know what's going to be tomorrow but you still have a choice to be happy no matter what are your circumstances santosha is again the choices that you make every day you can choose either good or bad you're choosing to be happy or you're choosing to be unhappy and so tosha from sanskrit is the translation which means fulfillment balance and happiness that's what santosha means but sometimes people get motivated by seeing a movie about let's say let's say christ and then they're walking around <laughs> disliking muslims and jewish and buddhist and everybody else but then it's not about goodness because then it's about judgment and by doing that we're not making a difference with anybody or you have a choice Let's say you have a choice to be around people who are constantly cursing, drinking, smoking, and doing drugs. It's also a choice, right? And then you cannot say, I'm a victim of circumstances. My life is not working because you're making a choice. And so we always have a choice or either being in the positivity and enlightenment or negativity. And so why Santosha is important? Because in meditation, if you're saying to yourself, I don't like myself, nothing is working, life is difficult, life is bad, then meditation not going to work. Your spiritual path not going to work. Because you're already having a mindset that things are bad. Everything is bad in my life. And that is in a way for you to actually to connect to higher power, to connect to creator. And what's worse about it, if we're complaining all the time, not even saying it, but it's in our mind that everything is bad, then we're continuing having these circumstances around our life. And we don't even want to take responsibility for it because we're choosing to be victims in life. For example, our son, he is not really happy in school system. He's complaining about teachers, teachers are mean, teachers are strict, there's a lot of discipline. He comes home and he complains a lot. But then I tell him, honey, would you like me to take you to another school? You can do homeschool, we can do private school, we can do anything. And he said, mom, no, I really love my friends. Don't ever tell me to betray my friends and go to another school. And so then I have a choice to concentrate about bad about school or remind myself how much our son loves his friends in school and do more of the play dates after school so that he is viewing school from the good and not just bad. So every time we have a choice to look at the bad of the husband, that husband is drinking, husband is smoking, husband is not making money, husband is lazy. And if we're concentrating on that, there'll be more of that. And if we're concentrating, wow, husband or wife is helping to cook husband or wife is helping to raise kids husband or wife is helping you with other things and then things are starting to shift because we're no longer victims of our circumstances and we're seeing the good in our partners in our life and in santosha again it's so important to concentrate on the good in our life and be grateful to what we have in life. Otherwise, we are 
pretending that we're on a spiritual path. Because in the background, we're complaining. We're hating ourselves, or we're hating our partners, or we're hating, hating our work, colleagues, or friends, and we're gossiping and complaining. And in that, you cannot achieve this bliss and breakthrough and growth in spirituality. You're kind of in a space of swamp. And in a swamp, you are not growing. You're just stuck. And that is the biggest problem because sometimes the second problem in people when they're meditating, they get into the space where they stop hating themselves or the others and now they're content. They're content in life, but they're not putting any effort to continue to grow. Meaning, well, I am no longer materialistic. I'm no longer complaining about wife or husband or work or that I don't have enough money. But then they stop putting the effort because in the background, when they were hating themselves or their partner, at least they had a drive, drive to overcome something, to change themselves. But now they're like, well, things are not so bad. And they're getting into the space of stillness. They're not putting the effort to grow in themselves. And so in Santosha, we have to get to the space of being inspired, not by fear, to changing what's wrong with us or what's wrong with our partners, but from the space of love, the space of love and desire to grow, uh, not to change us because we're bad, but to change ourselves because we want to serve others. We want to serve God. We want to serve community. We want to serve husband or wife. And that's a completely different space. You're no longer driven by fear or hate. You're driven now by the space of love. Sometimes we put the picture out there that we're so wonderful and so good. But in meditation, you're going to see some of your darkness as well. And some people get so depressed when they start seeing their darkness. They're like, no, I'm definitely not going to do that. But there's also a reason why the creator is showing our weaknesses and what we're struggling with. But again, we have to have a desire to overcome through them and not trying to use him. You fix me because in doing that, you're not achieving anything. You kind of, again, in the space of stillness and swamp, it's like dominating. Well, God, come on, <laughs> help me, fix me. Something is wrong with me. And... We got to come from the space of love and acknowledgement. And Santosha also means that when we, even if we go through a hard time in life, let's say you're going through a divorce or a breakup and someone really hurt you, you're still concentrating when you wake up. I have two arms, I have two legs, I have a mind, I'm creative, I have education, I am kind, I am loving, I am uh, wanting to help people. I'm going to find a job, even if I have no penny. And even though husband left me with nothing, you're still thinking about what good you have. And you're concentrating on what you have good and, what's, and not on what's not working. So again, in Satosha, we want to get to the space of acceptance, love for myself and everyone around me. That there's nothing wrong. When you're accepting everything that you have, your mind shifts, your mind shifts, and you view life differently, and your meditation and your practices completely changes. You're no longer fixing what's wrong. You're working on yourself to achieve true love and harmony and balance. The more you accept yourself, the more you love yourself, the more God loves you and gives you even more. Because that's what he wants. And yogis are saying that if you're dissatisfied in this life, he brings you even more challenges. Like you don't like your home, you don't like the town you live in, you don't like the city, you don't like your husband. He takes it all. And he gives you the worst. For you to understand, oh my God, I had a wonderful husband, I had a great town, I had a great job. Either in this life or next life. But if you appreciate what you have right now, he makes it even better. 
You start to see the goodness in your husband. You see the goodness in your wife, in yourself, and your job, and your work, and everything. And he gives you even more. So somebody is asking, Antosha is a practice also in meditation, right? No. Santosha is, um, we were going over 10 principles, jamas and niyamas. So the sixth principle is Santosha. And you got to watch my other videos to see other principles. It's a yogi principle that help you in meditation to connect to higher power. If you're living correctly, you're doing meditation. And when you're doing correctly meditation, everything starts to open up. Everything becomes clear. Then you become really happy, not depending on anyone else to fix you and make you happy. We are fully responsible for our life. And Santosha was the sixth principle. We're going over the sixth principle.